He doesn't miss his words. And he is a man. He's not a pussy. I like that. Look, uh, whatever, I love but that. everything he said <laughs> is something I believe in. About Donald Trump, about the American uh, male, about the Constitution, about the rights of people. I agree with everything he said. There's nothing to downplay. But my question again and again is the same. How is it conceivable that Biden is 15 points ahead of Trump? That I cannot figure it out. It's because the people that are going to vote for um, Donald Trump are just like they were the last time. They're not letting anybody know about it, so they get overconfident, they get cocky. Because, I mean, this is the exact same thing happened last I, time. They said, they I said hope Hillary right. was going to win. I hope you are right. Honestly, I sincerely and hope the you are right. The best thing that can happen is the economy keep going up and the job stuff. But that does, I mean, I don't see how, how he could lose unless it gets rigged. Question, Don Mozella. Most, yeah. almost the entirety of the Chinese economy is working. All the cities are open. Not a single leader of the Chinese government was ever sick with the coronavirus. How can anybody explain that? For God's sake, explain that to me. Well, but, but, no, well, but nobody uh, is mentioning it. Don, nobody is mentioning it. The economy is working. The cities are open. People are out and doing their work, and the West is completely shut down. Nobody is mentioning this. How come nobody is mentioning it? the narrative, I do. Doesn't I appreciate it. But the you, narrative but that they want. Yeah, that is, that, that is, that is the thing. So, uh, I, 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 I don't know if that's Don's phone ringing or if that's IQ's phone ringing. But it's uh, <laughs> quite the deal. It, all, it is. Uh, there we go. We have got uh, Don Mazzella with us today. We've got uh, IQ Alrazoli, John Mosier, and uh, so so IQ. Uh, what 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 did you make of uh, the the fact that uh, you know that they're not stopping any Muslims from gathering? Simple. The Muslims are the chosen people now. Not the Jews, not the Christians, not the Hindus, not the Buddhists. In, England, in Europe, by the way, in Europe, you can make jokes about Jesus from here to eternity. You can insult Jesus from here to eternity. You can do the same thing about the Hindus, the Buddhists, and the Jews. But if you say anything truthful about Islam, they put you in prison. I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling you the yeah. truth. By the way, it's happening in America also. Linda Sarsour. Linda Sarsour, I don't know if you know her or you know of her. Oh, yeah. She's part and parcel of the Muslim Brotherhood. She wears the hijab. She is a 100% Muslim fundamentalist. Nobody is asking her a simple question. Simple. Why are you wearing the hijab? She will tell you it's part and parcel of her Sharia. But part and parcel of your Sharia is to be anti-American. How do you reconcile the two? Please explain that to me. Nobody mm -hmm. asks the question. But that's because no. they don't have IQ you on the program, IQ. <laughs> yeah. I have been after care for 12 years. And James has been after care for four years. And he hasn't been to, able to get a single person to debate me. No, I actually, uh, I'm not sure what happened to the, uh, to, to the, to the, to the Kansas uh, version oh, of, yeah, of I care. Remember that. <laughs> I you was telling me about it. I was. Uh, I, I thought I had this guy. He was. He was all excited and was gonna come on, Chicken and then the last and then vanished. Time. Just vanished. <laughs> uh, but uh, gee, let me tell you. Uh, you know, I drove down to Jacksonville from New York the last two days, and what I noticed is the cops no longer stop. Black motorists, one car. They now do two cars or even three cars because they, they want to have witnesses should anything happen. You know, I never saw it before where state troopers, who you know are fairly tough, yeah. have, have two, or three, two or three cars when they stop a black motorist, uh, you know, for speeding or whatever. You can't so, cover your ass anymore now. It's like... yeah. You, you can't. I mean, it's, 
this way you've got like you know and you were smart you make sure you got the body camera on the whole time you got the car camera on the whole time you have to because otherwise the candy ass liberal media who doesn't care about anybody besides inciting riots will sit there and just blow it out of proportion it's like you have a gentleman that's sitting there running from the police after assaulting them and stealing one of their weapons and they're making him out like he's the victim yeah. And you've got that idiot DA down in Atlanta trying to charge him with it, knowing full well that it's not going to happen. But the only reason he's doing that is because he's trying to sit there and pander because it's an election year for him. No. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, but, but, but you've I... got other people that are saying, you know, exactly the opposite. Like, and that's the reason. I mean, it's going to come to a point in some of those cities where they're just going to like say, well, screw you. I mean, New York is in a big trouble. Because they have, they've had 270 different, you know, experienced police officers that have been on the force for years and years and years. So that means they're between 20 and 25 years of service. And they all put in for early retirement. Wouldn't you, given the situation? Oh, exactly. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, New York City's about ready to sit there, and it's like, it's like one of my friends was talking. He goes. He was like, well, but I go, well, who are you going to call when somebody sits there and breaks into your house? Are you going to call your crackhead friend down the street like he's going to help you? No, dude. It's like you're going to call the cops. Okay. Uh-huh. What and happens if, you if think, the cops don't come? That's what I mean. They're not going to in some of those areas. It's like it's like the mayor of Seattle, what a dimwit she is. Everything was like, oh, it's the summer of love. Yeah. Until they showed up on or that couple in Lewis, everybody's making them out like they're the bad guys. But it's like, you know what? I don't know if I would have sat there and been as nice if I had 500 people that weren't supposed to be on the property coming in at me. I a the, few of them. How would you and like they, to they turned around making people instead of the piece of crap the protesters who were breaking the property. But nobody puts that out there besides Fox News and some of the guys on the uh, right. He's like, oh, no, and they've got all these mean memes about the people making fun of them. But if you did the exact same thing to one of those candy-ass liberals, they'd be all like, oh, my God, it's like da-da-da-da. I'm sorry. I, I tried to be good and stay out of stuff for like a week. Now I'm just like all fired up, and I love talking to you, and especially I can't love when you get going. <laughs> sorry. I mean, some of us have a job we got to go to again now. We don't have the... We don't have all the laurels that you have, Don, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I wish I had the laurels Don had. Then I would actually be thought of as somebody, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm complimenting you, Don. I like you a lot, so. I like IQ, too. I, I like him a lot, too. I IQ, uh, give us an update on your, um, your immigration situation. I know that you've been... Uh, on Tuesdays, you, you, you often tell me and Perkins about the fact that you're uh, headed to the I United thought, States. How's that all going? Tell you what, my lawyer sent me an email to say, are you in a hurry? I said, no, I'm not in a hurry because I can't fly to America anyway. So she is processing it now for maybe the next 10 days. No, I'll get it. There's no question I'll get it. I'll get my green card. The question is, what, what, will there be anybody to support me in America? That's my question. So, support you what way? So, when I go, when I, when way, I, yeah. No, when I go on a demonstration at Trump Tower to destroy Islam. Anybody? Mm. <laughs> well. I hear if you're down in Wichita, Kansas, I'll gladly go with you. You would come? Yeah, if you get to Wichita, Kansas, I mean, I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> My poor ass is stuck here for right now, so. But yeah, you come to Wichita, I'll definitely show up. Okay, I'll try to come to Wichita then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be an interesting time, IQ. Well, yeah. it will be a final time for me. Because I will be exposing myself to the enormous danger. Not a joke. Yes. No, I... I understand you, sir. Don't you but if I don't do it, there's nobody on earth who can do it. There's nobody equal to me. I know it sounds like a brag, but you should know by now, after 12 years, nobody has taken a dime out of $1.5 million worth of challenges, 
and nobody came to debate me, not one. And yet I have had over 35 million people who have either listened to me, read my articles. It's not as if I am an unknown quantity. By the way, if you Google al Rasuli, you will find some Muslims to say that al Rasuli is a fake. The bastards don't prove that I'm a fake, but they assume I'm a fake. Oh, I've got to, I've got to track these people down and have them on this show. <laughs> oh, God, you, you won't, you won't. I'll be, I'll be more than happy. <laughs> oh my God, you... I'm, 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 I'm opening another window right now and typing it in as we speak. Oh, goodness. Because <laughs> no. as everybody knows, I don't like drama on this program. So go, go <laughs> ahead, go, go ahead, Don. <laughs> no, I was just gonna uh, bring up the fact uh, that. Uh, the, the last week has not been a good week for President Trump, and uh, I, I happen to agree with you uh, that uh, uh, I, I, I don't think he's going to lose, but I really do, do believe there is a strong possibility he will withdraw before the uh, convention. No way. This gentleman is not a quitter. You've got to understand that. It's psychological. He will never quit. He will go down in flames, but he will not quit. And if he quits, I will pay you a hundred dollars. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm betting you a hundred dollars. That one I'll pay. That one I'll take. Believe, <laughs> I, again, at this point, I don't believe. I just want to bring up the, the very strong Let's try this. possibility. Yes, but uh, this possibility is not based on facts. He's not a quitter. He has always fought for America. But 30 so years I ago, feel, he was fighting. I don't, I don't think anybody in American history has quite gotten the drumbeat of, of, uh, of attacks uh, 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 at the level of which uh, 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 Donald Trump. We will I, agree, some... I agree with you, but we have only a hundred a few days left. You mean to tell me after spending four years of misery, he is going to quit after 100 days for it. No way. No way. If he goes down in flame, America will go down in flame. I promise you there will be nothing left in America. Well, well I'll, I'll be perfectly frank with the IQ. I, when you start putting paint on George Washington's statue and no one says anything, uh, I, I really yeah. fear for the republic. I'm, I'm sorry. Here's a, You know, I always come back to what King George said. You mean about George Washington? You mean the man could have uh, been president for life and he went back to the farm, to his farm? King George could not believe that George Washington would do that. Yet, and, and quite frankly, do you know any man in American history, or for that matter, any woman, who's ever done what George Washington did? Leading a no, nation? No, no, I, but I don't I agree with you, but what we have now, you know, we are talking garbage. I'll tell you why we're talking garbage. The ones who are shaking America are 0.1% of the population. Uh, and yet, 99.9... No, no, I don't, let me interrupt you. Abetted by a media that simply has lost its way... It doesn't matter, with all due respect. Politicians. You, one has to be really stupid human being to follow the media. I mean, come on. I follow the media. I listen to the media. I don't believe a word they say. That doesn't. You, you, do you come on. Um, you don't. You don't talk. I feel that, with all due respect. You don't talk to the people I talk to, and um, and again, it, it is amazing what comes out of the mouth of, of the ordinary American person. You listen to them, and you think you're in a different world. You think they. You know, being on this, uh, I, I, we drove 270 miles to be on this program today. Um, uh, 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 we, we, we didn't stop to get here. But if you listen to people, uh, uh, the ordinary people in, uh, in the street, you would think uh, um, you were in a different world. I, I'm telling you... Um, IQ, tell, tell no, I you. believe you. I swear to you, I believe you. But what I'm saying is, if this is the prognosis, America is finished. Well, I'm not kidding I, with you. America is finished. I've I mean, never you, lost faith in America. 
But I, at this, I will tell you, based on what I've seen over the last couple of weeks, I am really worried. Okay. Can but I say that, worried. IQ? We are both worried. You are worried. John Mosier is worried. And I am worried. Here. I agree with you. All I'm saying is, if they elect anybody but Trump, America is done. Finished. That's it. Very good. Not complicated. I couldn't agree, I couldn't agree with you more, yeah, yeah, yeah. IQ. So we have to wait and see. We'll, uh, we'll find out if John, what John said, that the silent majority will go to the booth, the voting booth, and will decide, will screw those bastards for, who have been doing us harm for four months by electing Donald Trump. We'll see. From we'll your see. lips to God's ears. <laughs> I agree with you. Honestly, I'm yeah. I am more worried than you are because I've got to, I want to come to America before the election. Otherwise, there's no purpose in me coming to America. Well, I think the dismal performance by some of the big states' governors are going to help a lot, too. I mean, you have the idiot in Michigan who was, like, over-restrictive on things. You had you had Cuomo sending COVID-positive patients and requiring, you know, assisted living, you know, facilities to take them. Same thing with Michigan. Same thing with New Jersey. At least Newsom kind of pulled his head out of his backside and said, nope, we're not doing that anymore here. They did it first. But it's like you're sending COVID into the area where it would be the most damaging. Uh -huh. so, you know, and in now, New York, well, they the, had thousands of the beds media, they could use. Who's the media blaming? Trump. Yes, oh, well, I mean, if, yes, uh, but, I mean, if you read the New York Times, you would think that Trump had sent them to. Correct. Yes, yes. Yeah. Trump started World War One. Trump started World War II, the North Korean War. One of the most prestigious uh, institutions in this country was the Woodrow Wilson School, uh, 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 School of Diplomacy at Princeton. And what did they do? Uh, uh, Woodrow Wilson, a Democrat, uh, a, a liberal, they, they took his name off of the uh, Woodrow Wilson uh, School of Diplomacy at Princeton. To me, that was one of the most craven acts I have ever accounted. Why? Because... Like, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, have you heard about the whole thing where um, some of the people trying to kind of get under the goat of the liberal media are talking about, well, why not rename Yale then? Because Yale was a big slave trader and slave owner, so why, why don't you change the name of it? And it's like, uh, you know, and you've got all those graduates who are like, whoa, 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 no, because... Having a Yale diploma gives them a lot more money and things, but it's like, yep. you know, if they changed it to like Jiggy Jaguar U or something like that, all of a sudden it doesn't <laughs> have quite the impact, you know. But you know, the only the awesome. only slaves Jiggy ever yeah. had were the ones in you know the exotica thing, you know, he goes to. That's at right. Las Vegas That's right. Year. And they and they keep those I women in cages. Role play style ones. So. <laughs> well, and they keep those women in cages, which. You, you uh, know. When Go ahead. President Don. Kennedy was shot. <laughs> uh, I, I was I was working for NBC News. And we, there was actually a group of people that uh, called up and said they wanted to rename West Virginia Kennedy and Kenan Kenan Kennedy Kennedy I A after and this was at the height of the hysteria when he was murdered. And I never forget. And they were serious. And there was actually a resolution in the West Virginia House uh, to that effect. You know, I, I guess I, his brother drove it off the bridge <laughs> drunk by accident or something. That's where it went. <laughs> you, hey, you're good Sorry, today. Sorry, had to be mean there. <laughs> no, Ted <laughs> Kennedy <laughs> driving <laughs> off the chat. With the chat quitting with the Jiggy's no, I'm, a little I'm, bit younger. I'm, I'm sorry. No, yeah. I know you got it. I love it. Maybe I misheard it. Say it again, please. Go. No, I was saying maybe maybe Teddy, his brother, got drunk and drove it off the bridge or something, and that's the reason it never became it's Kennedy. It's, it's Chappaquiddick. <laughs> right. It's Chappaquiddick, yeah. Well, uh, <clears throat> Chappaquiddick. Well, that's yeah. another story for another time. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, uh, as we wrap up here, I want to start with IQ. How do we uh, find you online, get your stuff, all that my friend. The usual, just Google my name, Al Rasuli, A L R A S S, 